Hello. I was just thinking about this is football. Football season's over now, so now it's just going to be watching just whatever on TV. Now on Sunday afternoons, there's probably going to be some shows about Bigfoot. I was thinking about Bigfoot. How do we find Bigfoot? Now, according to all the experts who've never seen a Bigfoot, Bigfoot is more human than ape. So, I just started thinking, well, okay, Bigfoot's more human than ape. Maybe they're using the wrong approach. You know, like a lot of these TV shows, people go out in the woods and they yell. They hit the trees with sticks and baseball bats. And I really don't blame them. I mean, if somebody offered me $10,000 a show to act that way, I'd probably do it. I mean, that's not a bad job. But I don't think that's really the right approach. Well, first of all, let's think about us. We're human. I think so. How would we act if somebody was walking through our neighborhood, hitting things and yelling at the top of their voice? We'd probably call the cops and think, who in the world is this person? Also, if somebody came on, a, on our door, to our door and started banging on it real loud in the middle of the night, we'd think they were crazy. And also as humans, we don't like to be condescended upon. I mean, there's nothing more irritating than somebody who act like that they're better than us. So if a Bigfoot is more human than ape, how do you think he feels if people's going through his neighborhood, screaming in the middle of the night, banging on trees, and yelling? That would be very irritating. He's probably thinking, oh my goodness, who are these people? Then they try to treat him like he's some sort of animal. He's thinking, no, who do you think you are? You're not any better than me. And also, you know how we may have stories where we sit around and say, we saw Bigfoot. I'm sure Bigfoot has stories where he sits around with his people and say, do you see those crazy humans? Whatever he may, he may call us, he may, might call us the um, ugly race. So, my idea to catch Bigfoot is to be nice. You don't go out there and start yelling. You don't leave food, then run. Oh, you don't invade privacy by setting up trail cameras. That's kind of creepy. I mean, we don't like to be filmed in secret. How do you think Bigfoot feels? Why don't we just go out there, start a nice campfire, make it welcoming? Because, you know, if you want to introduce yourself to your neighbors, you don't go bang on your door. You knock on the door politely and you offer them some food. You don't leave the food at the door and run. We think that's kind of weird. So if we would treat Bigfoot as an equal, chances are, he will want to say hello and come and visit us. We just start a fire, maybe leave, you know, leave some food out, but, you know, leave it there where we could see him so he could come and pick up some food and then maybe we could chat with him or communicate with him. Um, so that's what my thought was.